friends, it's Mrs. B, and I'm here with a little craft project for you to celebrate Easter. We are talking about how Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and he rose again. That is what Easter is all about. So we are going to make a beautiful cross painting picture today. All you need is a piece of sturdy paper, You'll need to put some um, painter's tape down in the shape of a cross, like I did. And then you can use paints. I'm using watercolors. Or you could just use crayons or markers. And the idea is you're just going to color or paint all, all around the cross, making sure that you get all around these lines because at the end, we're gonna peel up the um, blue tape and there's going to be a beautiful surprise. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start painting. I think I'm gonna go with some purple. We'll start with some purple. PK2 is learning about the color purple this month. So we are bringing the purple on to this corner of our cross. I hope you guys do this activity at your house. It's super simple. And then when you're done, you can hang it up on your fridge or hang it up in the window as a reminder that Jesus died on the cross for you and for me to save us from our sins. All right, doing good. All right, I'm gonna keep going with my purple all around the edges. One thing that's good, if you're going to use more than one color with watercolors, you always want to make sure you clean your brush in between. If you don't do that, then all of your colors get icky. They get kind of brown looking. All right, now I'm making sure I'm getting around the top here. You want to get all around the blue tape. All right, so let's get a little more, make that those strokes a little bigger. All right, I'm hearing Z-Man in the background. <laughs> he's telling us, he's telling us the good news. He's sharing the gospel, <laughs> just like we're doing right now, talking about how Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we could one day live with him in heaven and have his peace and joy on earth. All right, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of blue just to give it a little more color, a little layering. Do, 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 do. All right, make sure I get up the top there. Dipping, making sure I'm cleaning my brush in between all my dips so that my colors don't get muckety muckety. All right, we're almost done, I think. I think I've almost got it the way I want it. All right. Okay, so let me make sure. I'm gonna do, I see a little bit of white still right there and right there. You wanna make sure you really get in around where the blue lines are. Okay, now. Normally, I would wait until this dried, um, but because I don't have that kind of time here, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the tape so you can see the beautiful, beautiful creation that we've made underneath the tape. <sighs> and you gotta be super careful at this part because it's probably, like you can see mine's ripping up the paper a little bit. So just be super careful. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys, this is so pretty. All right, let's get this side. We're pulling it up and we're gonna see the Lord's glory. Do, 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 do. It's coming. <gasps> And there you have it, everyone. It's a beautiful Easter cross. Oh, wow. I hope you.
hope you guys do this too and hang it on your fridge and celebrate Jesus' love for you. All right, friends, Miss B loves you and Jesus loves you most of all. Bye-bye.